class controls it and has annihilated a middle class, the oligarchs always do that. That's why the Mexican oligarchs mesh so well with the globalists. I mean, it's, it's literally just an extension of the Spanish and Austrian-Hungarian empire. The culture is a Spanish-slash-German-slash-Native uh, American, uh, Mesoamerican system. The general public are basically Mesoamericans, and the ruling class have names like Schmidt and, and, and Gruber, and nothing against Schmidt and Gruber, I'm like half German. The whole point is, is that, I mean, I've studied Mexico. Mexican beer is really good because it's German original recipes. And that's who ran that country. Hell, Germany in World War I had Mexicans launch an attack on Texas, folks. That's how close that relationship is. People don't know the history of it. And so all of this is going on. Now the globalists want to use Mexico against the U.S. as an immigrant labor force to drive down wages in a voting bloc. We could see Mexico become free again and flower. They could have a renaissance. We'll be right back with more calls. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. All right, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee 
gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. I believe in the people. If you can't trust the general population to have guns, you're going to trust the government? Can't trust pilots that have a giant 600-mile-an-hour weapon? You can't trust them to have a gun in the cockpit and a safety safe uh, that's biometrically accessed, but you can trust them to fly the plane? This is common sense. If we can't have weapons, we're all slaves. And my cousin grew up in Guatemala, Buckley. He's been off and on working here for 19 years. And he's up here on Sunday helping run the show and produce it. And uh, you were helping me read some of the Spanish comments on the YouTube video up at InfoWars.com. Most of them are in Spanish. And uh, read some of these quotes. We'll, we'll punch this up on screen. And my cousin Buckley that speaks Spanish uh, will be able to read some of these to us if you punch my computer up. Uh, read what, um, what does that say in Spanish right there? Uh, red noticiero. That means, uh, I don't know, like a red, uh, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. It's like a, a newspaper, like red newspaper or something. That doesn't matter. Just read what he said. Uh, so this guy, Juan Zavaleta, says, uh, Si no entiendes el, el problem, problem, problema completo, la esencia es un pueblo armado, es un pueblo libre. And he's basically responding to somebody who's saying that Alex doesn't understand what's going on. Uh, and he's uh, defending Alex and saying that the person doesn't understand the problem completely uh, and that basically the, the essence of the issue is is that a, 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 a um, village that is... That is a, An armed village is a free village. There you go. Armed village is a free village. There you go. <laughs> so that's what he says in Spanish. Yeah, sorry, I stumbled over. No, but you also like, well, I just made you come in here impromptu. You didn't even know you'd be on air. <laughs> Usually wearing a sports jacket. You're wearing a disheveled T-shirt. Exactly. And a bunch of other people are saying positive stuff as well, pointing out the government's illegitimate. Read this one. All right. Uh, this guy says, uh, Alex, I agree with you. The government of Mexico is illegitimate, and um, the government is the true enemy of the Mexicans. Uh, I agree with you uh, in that the right for uh, people to bear arms and to defend our lives and um, our loved ones and our loved ones. Uh, he's very proud of the autodefensas in Michoacán, and I, I guess that means the... Uh, um, the, the militia. The militia in Michoacan. And then, um, I don't know, it kind of cuts off there. I guess you should click read. You have more. to read more. But my whole point is the majority of the comments are, are positive out of Mexico. And the few arguing going, it's the cartels, not the government. It's on record that the government's almost completely corrupt and that different generals run different cartels and that cartel leaders are front men. It's come out the CIA is running the biggest cartels in the Chicago Tribune. But we broke this years before it was in the news. Right. I mean, Buckley, you grew up down in Guatemala. I mean, you've seen this. Well, the, yeah, the corrupt, corruption is endemic down there. I mean, it's just, uh, it, it penetrates all the stratas of society. All the way from the very bottom, there's kids that grow up in these uh, small, uh, you know, the kids that grow up in the Maquilladora cities where they, uh, where they have really no hope at all whatsoever. And the only way that they have to ascend through society is to turn to crime uh, and re realistically, the people at the top that are running it are uh, are the people that are running the country. So it's all connected. It's uh, The globalists don't want the real development in a middle class because they want you poor. Your daughter's ready to sell themselves for $10 for sex, and your son's ready to kill people for $100. Exactly. Um, you know, I, I think this is a really, really, really amazing development. That uh, Listen, we've been watching it five years. The government's caving in, and Mexicans are demanding guns everywhere. This is true 1776. And they've sent the army and police to take the guns, and the farmers have defeated them over and over again. You're not hearing about it in our news, but, I mean, the farmers of Mexico are kicking the butt of the government, the cartels, for five years. And now the government's saying, okay, you can have your guns because you have lowered the crime. AP admits the crime rate went way down. Hey, I mean, look, the people are the answer. <laughs> it's true. Chicago, arm the general public. 
it's only criminals have the guns. Yep, it's true. I mean, you see that everywhere. You see it across the board. You see it in uh, uh, in England, where, for instance, they don't have any uh, weapons and the crime rate goes up. Arm the people. Where the people are armed, there is liberty. Exactly. Where the people are disarmed, there is tyranny. Thomas Jefferson. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's real simple. If you don't trust the people to have guns, then it's not our country. And if you want to be scared of guns, that's great. You go be scared of them. I'm not scared of a stick-up or criminals messing with me. I got guns. They're scared of me. And it's not that I even live in fear. I just was brought up as a Texan, as an American. Thank you, Buckley. I appreciate that. Good points. All right, let's go to your phone calls. This segment, right through. I got some other news. Here's the deal. I said only calls from Mexico, but we didn't get any calls from Mexico. So I get a bunch of calls from Mexico when I don't you know, ask for them. I get none when I ask for them. We'll open the phones up right now for anybody on this subject or the Pope calling for redistribution of wealth or the Secret Service being used for Obama's employees as their personal thugs to threaten people. What is your take on this? 877-789-2539, 877-789-2539. Uh, we're going to go to David, uh, Jesus, Chris, Stephen, and Andrew first. Uh, let's go to Jesus first. Jesus, you're on the air from Texas. Yes, sir. Alex Jones will be listening in 2011. And uh, I do have relatives and uh, friends over there in Mexico. And it's, uh, it's sad to me that the way it's changed a lot. Uh, you hear stories like a uh, cartel walking to a restaurant. And if you got a beautiful daughter or a beautiful wife, they'll take it away from you. And if you say something, you get shot right there at the restaurant. Or about the rancher, or they were going to take his ranch away. And he told all these people, from his employees, to leave. Uh, I don't want nobody to be here on the weekend. And he had a, uh, he had a shootout with a cartel. This, uh, he, he got a lot of them and did this, killed him. But you hear all kinds of stories like that. Oh, no, no, no. We're linked on Infowars.com. This is a hot story because it's so human. But the media won't cover because it's so human. There's such folk heroes down there. That guy killed like 25 people by himself. Then they killed him. He's like a folk hero. In fact, I, 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 I can't read Spanish, so it's hard to cover. My cousin's going to look at it all, but I've been following it. They're killing all these old men. But these old men are killing a whole bunch of them before they die. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I do have friends and relatives, and it's a shame to me what's happening over there. But, you know, as I know, that that same thing is going to happen here in the United States with time. People are going to get people are upset. Well, that's the thing. The average American isn't a coward. They just don't want trouble. But when people start pushing us around, I guarantee you they're going to get it. And that's the same thing in Mexico, and that's why the media doesn't want you to know that the Mexican people are battling this evil with single-shot guns, and, 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 and they're sick of it. In fact, there's photos of the uh, vigilantes taking in some of the cartel people. I mean, they're done, folks. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that a human spirit? Doesn't that make you admire these people? These are men. What is going to fix our problems is good men standing up against evil men. That's correct. Any other points? No, that's it. Any other stories you're hearing from family in Mexico? I work at a hospital, uh, and a lot of a lot of Hispanic people tell me stories. I was raised in Eagle Pass, border town with Sierra Negras, and I uh, also heard in, in October. Uh, this is what I heard: Mexican Marines came in there, and they were wiping the cartel, and uh, the people that that were from the cartel, they, they were taking them in helicopters, and they were just dropping them. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's, that's sad to me. Uh, I was I finished high school back in 1976 in Eagle Pass, Tierra Negra border town, and then it's a lot of changes. I went over the border one time, and you had a military uh, vehicle in, in the side of Mexico. Uh, I, I can name the military vehicle. It looked like a tank with a machine gun pointing straight at you. And I said, man, things have changed a lot. But you just said the Mexican Marinos are throwing cartel people out of helicopters. This, this, this is the story I heard. No, no, I've got family down there right now. They say it's, I got family served like 20 tours, been in the Army 31 years. He says it's crazy. We'll be right back. Stay with us.
From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle.